Hi, Todd Dunn here on February 20th, 2018. Today I'm doing yet another solar charge controller video. This one is in response to a request. What I'm going to do today is explain the common LED codes that you'll see on a Victron smart solar charge controller. The LEDs I'm referring to are shown in the bottom right hand side of the controller in the picture to my right and they are a blue LED at the bottom, a yellow LED in the middle, and a green LED at the top. When these LEDs come on either blinking or continuously they indicate various states of the controller and I'm just going to go through what those states are. The first LED uh, code that you probably won't see very often is when all three LEDs come on briefly. This happens when you power up the controller. So you're usually going to be connecting the battery wire to the battery and probably won't see this. After you power the charge controller up and before you connect the solar panels, you'll notice that the bottom blue LED is blinking. That means that the system is powered up, but it is not charging. Once you connect the solar array to the charge controller, the most likely thing that you'll see is the blue LED will come on steady. That indicates that the charge controller is charging your battery in the bulk mode. When the blue LED goes out and the yellow LED comes on steadily, that means that the controller has switched over to the absorption charging mode. And when the green LED comes on steadily, that means that the controller is now in the float charging mode. When both the yellow and green LEDs come on and stay on, it means that the charger has gone into equalization mode. When you see all three LEDs flashing on and off together, it means that the charger is connecting with your Bluetooth device, usually your smartphone. While you're trying to connect your smartphone to the controller, if the yellow LED starts blinking, it means that there has been a link error in your Bluetooth connection, and you're probably going to have to start over. Once you successfully connect your Bluetooth device to the controller, you may find that the yellow and green LEDs alternately flash very quickly. If this happens, it means that the controller is downloading data from your Bluetooth device. Usually it means it's doing a software update. If the blue and yellow LEDs are flashing simultaneously, it means that there is an internal error in the controller. If the yellow and green LEDs start flashing simultaneously, it means that you have either a battery or solar array over voltage condition. Finally, if the green LED starts blinking, it means that the controller is over temperature and you should shut it down to let it cool off. That covers the most common LED codes that you might encounter. If you want to find out more, there is a Victron app called Victron Toolkit that you can download to your smartphone that has all of the LED codes. And there are quite a few more, but most of them you'll never encounter. Okay, thanks for watching. If you found this short video useful, please give me a thumbs up. I'd very much like it if you'd subscribe to my channel so that you'll get notification of future videos. And once again, thanks for watching.